a bright sunny day. Good morning, Ika. And we are currently staying here in El Wacachinero. And the guy found his playmate there. They're playing ping pong. And the pool is so blue. We're going to the winery today. See my outfit? It's, it's kind of cold today. So our first stop will be the Hacienda Takama. It is a wine producing Hacienda and it is known to be the first in South America. This is part of the Hacienda, those are the great plants. We are here in the winery, just waiting for the tour guide. Uh, we took an English tour because I couldn't speak Spanish. Oh, this guy is going for a tour too. They look foreign. So nice, so peaceful. And dito kami sa loob ng winery ng tour. So these were the old equipments that they used before for winemaking, before the invention of the modern winemaking equipments. This is the oldest thing that <laughs> Takama used. This is this, this thing. <laughs> That's the door. <laughs> Salute, amor. Oh, salute. It was not. This is wine. Red. Red. It's red. Oh, this is my second. Salute. Second round. Salute. Oh, my. Let's, let's drink. Let's keep drinking. The first time we drink so much wine to English. Semiseco? Semiseco? Semiseco. Semiseco is dry or? Salute. Oh, another red. Salute. But this is sweeter. Ah, okay. Semiseco. I think the first one was seco. This is better than the other one. Finished three glasses already. Pisco. 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 Puro quebranta. Oh, after a uh, like, give me a pick this. Oh, this is what we drink in your house? Yeah. It smells like vino. No, you have to. You have to, it's like one shot, like, oh. like you have to breathe deep and then you drink it and then drink everything. Yeah, if you want, if you can, because it's kind of strong. And we are done with our Ashanta Takama tour, and yes, I got drunk. And we are now in the Hacienda La Carapedo to have lunch. And it's not every day that you see a Peruvian horse dancing. And later we're going to tour the manufacturing site of Pisco. This place looks so peaceful. This is the positive side of touring places when it's pandemic. 
So just so you know guys, Pisco Portun dates back in 1864. And this is this place located in Ica, Peru. And it's known to be the oldest distillery in the Americas. What a great plantation of grapes. So this is the old site where they processed their pisco before. They are more than 250 years, they are original, and in the past we use them to, do the, to make the distillation process because of the shape, no? Because we put it on the ground. They are 250 years old. Oh my gosh. We're saying that we were in the highest part of this small distillery. And uh, we say that the juice no, only comes down through the canals for gravity and it comes down to this cube. So the wine so used to flow here, here in this ground. Field, no? In this case, we have three copper fields. The capacity for each is 1500 liters. And there are needs, there is an oven to do the wood for the bath. The casino, the mall, we ferment it in the last area. We have to boil it here about 12. This first production was in 2000. So we are now inside their current processing plant. This is, for example, a and those containers are full of liquor. And transferred to oxygen. Oh, so there's a purpose for They are from Germany, but we have a island from France. Both are made of copper, and we use it to make the distillation process. We can work with gas or if you can use the capacity is 50,000 liters. And the material is over the wall inside. It's a composta hacienda. We wanted to give them the shape of the vessel to be part of the it's full of pisco. Uh -huh. In this case, we use four. We use albilla, we use pisco, we use pisco, so you, so you don't sell pisco food? Mm -hmm. Yes, also. 